The dairy industry in Kenya has been and continuously plays an important role in not only the economy but also the general well-being of the Kenyan population. Nutritionally, many consumers appreciate that milk is a good source of nutrition. According to a report, Consumer Milk Quality Perception by USAID's Kenya Dairy Sector Competitiveness Program, released in 2010, a majority of Kenyans have a high degree of positive perception of milk, with 62% of respondents associating milk with a high protein content. Many consumers like milk as a balanced snack and for its good taste. Kenya's dairy production sector is characterized by a huge number of small-scale farmers who make up 70 to 80 percent of the total production. The cooperative system contributes significantly to the development of the dairy sector in the country with the emergence of the Kenya cooperative creameries. The Rift Valley and Central regions produce the bulk of the milk in the country. However, other regions, including Eastern, Nyanza, and Western regions also produce significant quantities of milk. The positive perception and the fact that Kenya is one of the highest consumers of milk in developing countries provide the dairy industry with a huge opportunity to grow. graduates for enhanced competitiveness in the dairy value chain through curricula that is entrepreneurial, gender sensitive, practical oriented and relevant to the needs of the labor market and with a focus on poverty reduction. We came up with a curricula for a master of dairy science and, and technology curricula and this curricula was uh, developed uh, by 
the three countries and within this curricula yeah, we included aspects that are relevant to the three countries and we expect uh, this curricula will enhance the exchange of experiences and capabilities within uh, the, these three countries. The project targeted groups such as academic staff who participated in developing a competence-based curricula for training students in dairy and related fields, diploma to master levels. And this normally happened in what we call summer schools. These were organized in the different countries in all these years. And in this summer school, we had scientific staff from the different countries and also students attending. And the aim here was to deepen their knowledge and also to deepen their skills, to enhance their academic capability and, the, and educational uh, development as well as create and strengthen the linkages that uh, already exists between the universities and the labor market. Out of the labor needs assessment that was done by the project, various gaps were identified. And so to be able to identify this, to be able to effectively identi uh, identify and address the gaps within the project, we had to bring on board various players in the dairy industry that would serve as mentors and also places of internship and attachment for our students. Because part of their main concern was the time that the graduates took, if employed, to fit within the employment environment. Undergraduate students were another group that the project did not isolate. A group of students across the relevant department from Egerton University were engaged through the on-farm internship program in partnership with the Netherlands Development Organization, SNV. The project aimed at placing students who have graduated in this industries so that they could be able to learn through internship to cope with the pressures or to be able to fit and meet the demands of their workplace upon employment. Through the dairy chain program I was attached at Musian Farm Limited and I was able to learn a few practices. And during my stay which took three months I enjoyed and I learned a lot and I also got to practice the skills that I've learned in class and actually perfected on most of them, like good calf rearing management. Carriage making, calf rearing. They had management practices up to milking plus the mil milking hygiene. And how to run a successful dairy farming. I also learned about the dairy, dairy value chain since we visited the new KCC. The challenges I faced were uh, the, the climate itself, the area is very hot, and also labor, there was a labor shortage, so we had to do most of the work. And uh, housing. Uh, I gained much during the program, and I've been able to get more offers from the farmers that I interacted with them during various training at, uh, at the farm and during the training organized by SNV. The program whose main objective was to expose students on practical aspects of dairy production and management was implemented in some of the biggest dairy farms in Kenya. Being a member of the Eldoret Dairy Farm Association, we happened to have had students who uh, were uh, coming to our farms, uh, courtesy of SNV and the Egerton University. I had one student, by the name Philip Wanyonyi, uh, whom we stayed with him for three months in this farm. Uh, this student was uh, very brilliant, and I liked the way he, uh, he did his work in this farm. Uh, we stayed with him with minimal supervision, and uh, so far I think uh, whatever the uh, courses which are offered by Egerton University, is actually meeting the demands of the dairy sector. I gave them the work of doing the marketing. The production milk producing was not an issue, but now where will you sell the milk after? 
can produce as much milk as you can, but again, the market trends, where you have uh, sometimes fluctuation of prices, sometimes your cost of production is higher than the, what you sell to your milk. So we did a lot of uh, survey, we studied, and uh, I think it was helpful, helpful for us because we were able to come up with like, like for you adding the milk, uh, we were able to do, we were able to survey other markets apart from uh, our region itself. We were able to also analyze that we can also get some market outside the, the region. One other benefit which uh, we saw these students getting is a direct touch with what is happening from uh, the cow. Do, uh, do, uh, doing it, seeing by doing, that is one. Number two, sharing experiences, maybe of an area of diseases and area of management. And even the way uh, the, the farm is being run uh, throughout the day. Our wanafunzi wanaweza kuelewa mambo mingi kwa sababu yale mambo ambayo wamefunzi wakatika theory, wanakuja wana implement sasa practical, unaona ya kwamba ule mwanafunzi anaelewa mambo mingi. Sana sana kwa upande ya nyasi class management alikuwa ameweza kabisa. Jinsi ya kukata nyasi, kutengeneza silage, ku manage, ku fertilize. What we have found very important is that some of the students that come here come with their knowledge, the class's knowledge, but when they get out of here they have that big knowledge and practical skills. So when the students come for daily chain training, is that uh, is like a 50-50. They, they 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 show you what they know and you tell them what you know, and at long last you come out with the solution. Enterprises such as smallholder farmers, processors, traders, cooperatives, extension services, policymakers and consumers profiting from efficient and good quality products were also involved throughout the project implementation period in Kenya. Part of the activities that we did included holding stakeholder forum. The liaison office had the responsibility of identifying the various stakeholders that would participate in this forum. In order to harness the full potentials, farmers were grouped into cooperatives through dairy chain project. This way, most of the farmers who could hardly get value for their hard work got encouraged and motivated on dairy production. <laughs> wakati ule ngombe moja ilikuwa inatoa karibu lita kumi, na sasa inatoa saidi ya lita kumi, inatoa lita kumi na tano kuendelea mbele. Kwanza kabisa, niluonyesho shape ya ngombe. Shape ya ngombe, amba, kitu ambayo siku chua kwa mutamrefu, chinsi shape inakaa. Ya pili, nilufunzo wa chinsi, ninawesa lisha ngombe, na kupea chakula, so currently with my training at Ikaton and, uh, and uh, Kiriti, that's the Kenya Industrial Research and Training Institute, I've said training farmers. And when I'm training farmers on feed formulation, I mainly use two animals. That is Masi, the local animal, whose initial production was two two liters per day, and now it is 14, then I use the exotic, what most people refer to as bedigri, which is baunza, a Holstein Freshian, to teach them. I show them that an, a local animal can still produce well, because from two liters of a local animal to 14. So if he starts that, we can, he can improve on his production. We also came up with a strategic plan or what we call an African Dairy Academy. And for your information, this is the only such academy in Africa. And uh, when it is fully operational, we expect to collaborate with the similar academies in Europe and in the US. The project established an inter-institutional network between higher education institutions in Africa and Europe, which resorted to exchange programs with farms conducting best practices in dairy production and management. And so what we have done is to establish a database of dairy scientists within the regions to be able to be used as resource persons 
in the dairy academy in uh, towards furthering the knowledge of dairy within the continent. This was uh, complemented by uh, organized staff academic exchange for capacity building. So we had staff from Egerton spending some time at uh, Obafemi Awolowo in Nigeria. We had staff from Egerton spending some time at, uh, uh, at the University of Education in, uh, in Winneba. And we also had staff from the two institutions in West Africa spending some time in, uh, in Egerton University. And the aim here was to capacity build these staff members so that they are able to support, so that they are also able to, to, to support the new curricula that we developed. In this Interdisciplinary research and academic partnership was also fostered in Kenya to help in the development and expert knowledge on dairy value chain. Such a case was the relationship between the Department of Animal Science, Dairy and Food Science Technologies and the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine and Surgery in Egerton University. The project was jointly coordinated among the partners and successfully implemented and evaluated. I think we've achieved quite a lot yeah, in the three and a half years this project has been running. And the first thing that I'd like to attest to is that we upgraded these institutions. Like if I may give an example, in the two institutions in West Africa, we ended up renovating some of the zero grazing units. Also at Egerton, our zero grazing unit was, was uh, renovated. We also upgraded the human resource as well as uh, the curricula. And this we foresee even beyond the project life that it will be a perpetuation of this, what I would call an elite group or squad of people that can be able to carry the mantle forward once the project has been wound up. From capacity building, to research, to interdisciplinary partnership, Dairy Chain Project has indeed impacted the